Mithithronuruodo, born as Kivuronuru, with the core name, Vuron, recognized in his early military career as Mithithronuru, and better known by his core name, Thrawn, was a Chiss male officer of the Chiss Ascendancy and Grand Admiral in the Imperial Navy during the Age of the Galactic Empire. An alien imperial officer with striking blue skin, red eyes, and an angular face, Thrawn was well known as a brilliant and ruthless strategist. He believed that in order to achieve victory in war, one must know their enemy. As such, he dedicated himself to understanding the philosophy, art, and culture of his opponents, which included the Twi'aks of Ryloth and the warriors of Mandalore. When Governor Aranda Price requested a strong commander capable of defeating the rebels on Lothal, Grand Admiral Thrawn accepted the challenge, intending to dismantle the rebellion one piece at a time. Before joining the Imperial military, Thrawn served with the expansionary defense fleet of the Chiss Ascendancy. A native of the planet Renta, located in the unknown regions of the galaxy, Thrawn served the Chiss Defense Force with both valor and controversy. Patriarchs Mithithurukiord, Thuraki, and Stiblami of Odo, Lamioff, leaders of the Chiss Mithith and Stibler families respectively, worked with General Barkeef, founder of the expansionary fleet, to adopt Thrawn into the Mithith family and guide his career and training in the fleet. Thuraki, Lamioff, and Barkeef also worked together to guide Thrawn into a close friendship with Mithithrasisophus, Thras, a Chiss man whose political talents complemented Thrawn's analytical and strategic skills in warfare. Thrawn, who did not form friendships easily, grew close to Thras, and in time the two came to regard each other as brothers. Thrawn went on to lead anti-piracy operations against a group of pirates known as the Vagarari, which saw the tragic death of Thrawn's brother Thras. Near the end of the Clone Wars, the warlike Grisk hegemony began a plot to destroy the Chiss ascendancy. First, they groomed and trained a Nicardan general named Yiv who ruled the Nicardan Destiny, an expansionist empire in the unknown regions. The Grisk agent Jixtus sent Yiv to conquer or intimidate the nations neighboring the Ascendancy to incel the Chiss, who could not launch attacks on anyone who had not directly attacked the Ascendancy. Thrawn left his native unknown regions and traveled to known space to search for allies against Yiv. There, he encountered the Jedi Knight Anakin Skywalker during the Clone Wars and fought alongside Skywalker during a mission to Mokai VJ. Shortly thereafter, Thrawn was instrumental in defeating Yiv's fleet, leading to the demise of the Nicardan destiny. Following Yiv's defeat, Jixtus dispatched a group of the telepathic Agbui species to manipulate Chiss officials of three of the Ascendancy's great families into starting a civil war in the Ascendancy. Thrawn was instrumental in defusing the Agbui plot above the planet Hoxham. After the Agbui's failure to instigate a civil war in the Ascendancy, Jixtus enlisted the service of the Kilji Illumin to undermine the Ascendancy from within and close nations to the southeast of the Ascendancy from Chiss refugees who would survive the war he hoped to foment. Aware of the Grisk Armada's superior firepower to the Chiss expansionary defense fleet, Thrawn and his friends arranged for several allied nations to unite and defeat Jixtus's fleet in a climactic battle over Sunrise known as Senior Captain Thrawn's Last Stand. Following the Galactic Republic's reorganization into the Galactic Empire, Thrawn offered his allegiance to Emperor Palpatine, having deemed an alliance with the new regime beneficial to his people. With the help of Cadet Eli Vanto, Thrawn assimilated into galactic society, becoming fluent in galactic basic standard and ultimately graduating from the Royal Imperial Academy on Coruscant. His career in the Navy was highly successful. After a series of promotions, he received the rank of Grand Admiral from the Emperor himself. At the height of his career, Grand Admiral Thrawn served as commanding officer of the Seventh Fleet, the flagship of which was the Imperial One, class Star Destroyer, Chimera. Deployed to the Lothal Sector a few years after the start of the Galactic Civil War, Thrawn sought to defeat the rebels led by Captain Hera Syndulla. During his leadership of the Seventh Fleet, Thrawn proposed and staunchly advocated for a new starfighter bomber, the TIE Defender which was to be initially manufactured on Lothal before being mass-produced throughout the galaxy. Following the Battle of Atollan, the Emperor summoned Thrawn to his palace to undertake a mission with the Emperor's Sith apprentice Darth Vader, whom Thrawn once knew as the Jedi Anakin Skywalker. 
Palpatine considered Thrawn and Vader his two most useful servants and believed his mission would require the unique talents and knowledge of both men. In the ensuing mission, Thrawn's fleet worked with Vader's First Legion and ultimately rescued several Force-sensitive Chiss girls held captive by the warlike Grisk species. Soon thereafter, Thrawn took on a mission to defend the supply lines of Project Stardust from apparent losses to electronics eating Gralox. The true culprits of the losses were the treasonous Grand Admiral Balanhai Savit and, separately, a force of Grisks seeking to conquer Imperial space and perhaps control the Death Star. After exposing Savit's treason and defeating that Grisk force, Thrawn resumed his task of eliminating Sindula's rebel cell on Lothal. Sindula's rebels confronted Thrawn's forces with the intention of liberating Lothal once and for all. During the battle, a flock of Purgil came to the aid of Jedi Padawan Ezra Bridger and inflicted heavy damage on the Seventh Fleet. Thrawn was on the bridge of his command ship when the creatures surrounded the Chimera, and pulled it into hyperspace, taking both Thrawn and Bridger into the Great Unknown. In the years following Thrawn's disappearance, the Emperor and Vader were killed at the Battle of Endor, the Empire was decisively beaten at the Battle of Jakku, and the alliance to restore the Republic was reorganized into the New Republic. In spite of Thrawn's vanishing years prior, former Jedi Ahsoka Tano was searching for Thrawn in Nine Abbey, which led her to face Thrawn's protege Morgan Elsbeth. Even in his absence, Thrawn's talents benefited the New Order. His knowledge of the Unknown Regions proved essential to Imperial remnants that retreated from the known galaxy helping them survive in unexplored space where they eventually formed the First Order, a major part of Emperor Palpatine's contingency plan. <laughs> 